Good early morning, YouTube. I know I've been putting up a lot of videos and about a lot of different things. Um, but I keep coming back to this. This is the live page of your real time simulated global D layer absorb absorption. This is what's going to tell you or help you guide you on where the blackouts uh, are occurring. And uh, this is a live shot. This is uh, a sudden spike in protons. A huge spike in protons, so I'm going to have to issue also a solar radiation alert. It's already causing uh, severe problems with satellite communications, uh, including the LASCO and the ACE is having problems, and these satellites are designed to take that type of punishment. And uh, from what I understand, even the ACE spacecraft uh, is minorly damaged uh, to its sensors. So. Uh, they're having to spin it so it can use the ones that aren't so damaged. Um, so we might be looking at having to replace those satellites, but who knows. Um, but this is the readings uh, that we're getting now. Uh, we'll go back to solarham.net. Uh, I wanted to also show you what your BZ rating is here, guys. It's a negative 7.8, and this has been going up rapidly. And I, if you go back to my previous videos, I told you that the proton levels will not subside. Absolutely will not subside and will not go away. And uh, uh, and this has been with the current watch when these X flares uh, started popping off. Here's a live shot, and we've been getting some steady M's, and this is what's causing uh, this absorption rate and the BZ to pop off. Um, I know we got a coronal hole also facing our way as well, but uh, <clears throat> uh, I think that the CMEs that are blasting off is uh, what's really going on and uh, causing these protons to really pound the earth. I mean, you got the pressure up too as well. Uh, so we are really getting bombarded here, folks. Let me go to the uh, real time charts here. We notice the temp is, uh, has stayed uh, even over the last two hours. Six hour data shows a slight elevation. Uh, however, you know, uh, there is a fluctuation up and down over the last few days. The uh, solar wind speed s seems to be taking an uptick. But again, let's go to the protons, folks. See this here? Over the two hour data, six hour data. And then three day data, we're definitely getting the spikes in the proton, 24 hour data. So this is causing some major problems, folks. Um, I was starting with the satellites and this can cause some uh, earth effects as the sun starts to rise here tomorrow uh, if this storming uh, continues. I don't see any alerts out here though for any radio emissions. It's uh, over here on solarham.net. Um, they're not keeping their alerts up to to uh, par as far as I'm concerned uh, when you're only getting 45 percent uh, risk here 10 percent risk uh, here with X and M class flares and it's obvious that it's 100 percent risk of M flares so uh, I, I appreciate it solar ham if you keep on top of your storming uh, alerts especially when you got protons here that are just spiking um, through the roof okay with an upward trend see you kind of want to watch these charts for uh, like you do financial uh, uh, charts, you know, you look for trending lines, and here you have a trending line up. You know, I know it looks like kind of like an arch, but it really is up. Okay, and, and if you were to study the previous, you'd see it going up and up and up and up and up. Okay, and it's some subsides we're having the M's, and it's going to creep right back up here again. And we already see that over here on this chart. Okay. And uh, but it's really causing some problems down here. And uh, another thing I'm concerned about too is the Emerald Spiral will not update. It's not updating the le latest CME uh, information. It's still spewing out the same old stuff. So it doesn't have the M class eruptions out there yet. And when I go to load, it, it takes forever to load. So let's just uh, make sure. Let's just skip to the chase here. Uh, yeah, no, they don't have it updated yet. Sorry, folks. 
Uh, that one is not updated. And this one isn't as far as I'm concerned either. And uh, it also seems that the geoengineers are uh, are uh, scrubbing the skies at night to make sure that the uh, temperatures fall big time at night. And uh, so here in Iowa, we're getting lows in the 20s already. And that uh, overnight temperature uh, is cooling off really quick. See, you, you may not know this, but most of the Earth isn't covered in nighttime when it's night. You know, it's not split in half. Most of the Earth is covered in daylight. So your overnight temperatures have a very short window of time to cool off in order to handle the daytime temps for the next day. So, yeah, they get out there and scrub the atmosphere so all that energy goes straight up. And they've been doing a lot of that. That's why you got some nice clear skies tonight uh, up here in the Midwest. But, any, again, uh, I've been watching this. Uh, this started... Uh, around I would say 1030 and I didn't want to put up an immediate video uh, because I thought it would actually trend up to this so I wouldn't have to keep doing some uploads I've been busy and uh, but please pay attention to this folks this is what you're gonna wake up to perhaps tomorrow especially if the uh, these uh, CMEs keep popping off you know we keep getting these uh, M classes one right after the other right after the other yeah, if you're going to have some issues. And, uh, I mean, these uh, sunspots they don't look too uh, threatening, do they? Uh, but when you get several of, uh, you don't need X player spokes to cause problems. M's are just fine to do that, okay? Especially if you get a lot in between. But anyway, that's enough said about that. Um, I'm going to relax for the night and uh, wake up to see what the good Lord has the day for me made. And uh, and uh, see see what his handiwork is up to. Take care. God bless.